Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe and I sell things on eBay to earn a living. That is my, I say full-time job, but it's definitely turned into a part-time job now. Um, I definitely don't put in full-time hours anymore. Today's video is going to be a haul video. It's not my usual style for a haul video. Usually I have like a rail up and I show you things hung up. However, I have been neglecting eBay a little bit lately. So it's my rail is being used to store things that I need to list and I am not showing it at all for whatever reason. I don't know whether I have already shown them or whatever, but they just weren't, they weren't ready to be shown in a haul. So I've got a big Ikea bag full of stuff and I've got another little bag behind me full of stuff. I don't have price tags on them because they've all been photographed. However, I am going to put prices for everything on the screen for what I paid for everything. So future me, when you're editing this video, I'm sorry about that because I know you're going to have to put prices on the screen for absolutely everything and that's going to be a pain in the ass. But it is what it is. I did not film this before they got photographed, so this is what I've got to deal with. So I'm going to jump straight into it. It's going to be a little bit more casual because we're sat down and I'm just going to be holding them up. Um, get yourself a drink. I have a tea, if I can find it. There you go. I have a tea and a cute little Emma Bridgewater Terrier mug that's meant to represent one of my doggies, but it doesn't quite look like her. Mmm, nice. Mine is buttermint. It's quite good. It doesn't taste like butter. It doesn't sound that good, but it's pretty good. Um, so get yourself a cup of tea or a coffee or put me on in the background because there is quite a lot of stuff and it's probably going to take a while to get through it. But let's jump straight in with the first item. First up is a white stuff cardigan. I will say as well, I can't remember what's in these bags because they're from like a week, maybe two, well, at least two weeks ago now. So I can't remember what's in here. So it's as much a surprise for you as it is for me, it's, it's for you. we both, none of us know what's in here, basically. This is a white stuff cardigan. Um, I'll pick up white stuff, especially if the uh, material content is good. And I think this is linen. Linen and cotton. Really nice lightweight one for the summer. And it is a size... Oh, this is a problem with doing it sitting down and holding it up. It's not straight. Um, really nice, light, floaty one for the summer and it's in a size 16 i'll probably list that for around 20 um maybe 22 and hope to get about that for it next up we have got oh more white stuff this is a blouse is it yeah <laughs> this is the little blouse with a cute print on it hopefully you can see that it's just a really nice lightweight summer blouse I'll probably get about, I've put that up for about £15. And that is in a size 14. And I think it's probably just a cotton or a viscose. It might be viscose, actually. Let's have a quick look. It is 100% viscose. Really nice and lightweight for summer. So, yeah, I'll probably put that up for about 15 Like I said, all the prices will be on the screen as I'm showing you stuff. Because I'd just be guessing if I told you how much I paid for these. This is more white stuff. I always say in my videos, if you watch my videos quite a lot, I always say that I don't really pick up white stuff. I do. I do. And it is mainly because my husband is a white stuff magnet. He seems to think that white stuff everything is great. And sometimes I don't want to break his heart by saying no all the time. Um, but to be fair, some prints in white stuff is decent. And if it's cheap enough, I'm going to pick it up. This is a nice, vibrant, loud t-shirt. But I love the sleeves. Look at those sleeves. Oh. I love a sleeve like that, mainly because I have the uh, the bat wings, so I like to wear. Uh, I like to hide them. If you didn't hear that, I said I like to hide them. <laughs> I don't know why I whispered it like it was a secret. This is a size fourteen again, and again I'll probably list that for about fifteen pounds ish. Um, I will be cross listing most of these to Vinted as well. I mean, to be fair, I'll probably cross list nearly all of them to Vinted. Um, I've been finding Vinted quite good actually. It's been doing all right, it's been doing quite well. And if you are not listing your stuff on Vinted, I definitely would advise it because it's definitely picking up for me. I will leave a link down below in the description for Vinted if you want to go and check it out. Um, this is a Paul Smith t-shirt. This is pretty cool to be fair. 
I don't pick up all Paul Smith, but I will pick up an interesting print and this looks quite nice. The only reason I don't pick it up is because I don't really know if it's going to do well or not. I've had some Paul Smith in the past. Look, it's so cute. Um, that hasn't done very well and a lot of charity shops will over lot like, overprice not overprice it but will price it up so this is a nice little pineapple shirt i'm not too sure how much i will get for that um i think it's a women's oh i'm not sure uh, it looks small like a women's uh, maybe i'll go for about 20 but i will look up comps and see because you never know it might be more or it might be a lot less there are no comps which obviously means that it's worth a million pound. But we did, I think we looked it up when we bought it. Uh, this looks a lot like Bowden. I think this is Bowden, just by the look of the pattern. Oh, it is, it's Bowden. Hopefully you can see that and I'm getting close enough for you to see that. Uh, this is just a nice Bowden summer dress. It's just a really nice print. And it is in a size, oh, that is pretty, isn't it? That'd be a nice wedding, like wedding guest dress in the summer. That's in a size 12 regular and I'm pretty sure it's like a cotton. It's a nice lightweight cotton that I'll probably put up for 20. Next, oh, this, I love this. I really love this. And I mean, I don't think it's gonna fit me, but I might try it on and see if it does. If it does fit me, this might be for me to keep. I did in fact keep it. This is only Zara, and this one I do know how much I pay for. I pay five pounds for this, which is a bit much for Zara. But look how nice it is. It's like proper preppy, and I love it. I really like it. I just think it's really nice. I know it's not really the right time of year. It's I just I can't I can't I couldn't leave it behind. It's Zara knit. It's only a medium, so I'm not sure it's actually going to fit me. If it did, I'd definitely keep it because I love it. I don't think it will. Um, what are you? What are you? Oh, it's just acrylic. <laughs> acrylic, cotton and nylon. But it's lovely. It is lovely. So I don't know how much I'll get for that. So I'll pay £5. So maybe I'll try for 20 But I'm probably really pushing it. Because it's only Zara. But I was just really drawn to it. Next up. This feels like another knit. It is another knit. Oh, this does need some debobbling. This is Joni. This little bonjour jumper. I do need to debobble it. Um, it is in a size medium, UK medium. It doesn't look very medium to me, but uh, it's really nice actually. I really like that. It feels really soft as well. But like I said, it really needs, I don't know whether it's gonna show up on camera, but it really needs going over. Whoa, what did, I went really bright then. <laughs> um, it really needs going over with a debobbler and it is just this case there is a cat trying to join me so if you hear noises behind me it's a cat doing cat things i could try and get them out of here but they'll just they'll just come back or they'll meow at the door so i'm just gonna let them do their thing next up oh i've got no idea what this is oh this is Bowden, and it's new with tags oh i can remember what this is now um, my scope, I'm guessing quite a lot of scopes do it, but they get like Bowden sample stock or seconds from Bowden. This is just a Bowden wrap dress. It does not look very pretty on screen right now. If, well, they have all been photographed, so I'll put a picture up on screen. Um, it's got a lot of ruffles. Now, they usually price these at like 15 to 20 pounds, these new tags Bowden dresses. But for some reason, this one was priced a bit lower. I think it was priced at around £8. It is a small size. I think it's a size 8. What size are you? Yeah, it's a size 8. But because it's a black wrap dress and it's sleeveless, I thought that's going to be really... Yeah, it's a cat. Um, I thought that was going to be really, really good for the summer and hopefully it should go pretty quickly. Next up. Oh, this is nice. See, I forgot half of this myself. This is Ralph Lauren what is it a little skirt or shorts skirt and it's got the oh look at it that is cute it's got a little buckle kind of not quite a belt it's like a half belt and you pop it oh i love that look at that that is very nice very utility it's like a khaki color oh i like that a lot that is really nice it's in a size 
US four, so it's like a ten. Um, six, eight. Ten. Eight. It's a it's an eight, not a ten. Ignore me. I will measure it though. It looks a bit big for an eight actually. Definitely looks more of a ten, so I will measure it. Um, I have no idea how much I'll list this one for. Probably around about twenty, but I could be way off because I don't really sell a lot of Ralph Lauren. Oh, this is very pretty. I don't even know what this is, but it's gingham, so I love it. <laughs> I'm really into gingham at the minute. Ah, oh, this is a DKMY dress. I did look up comps for this because I wasn't sure if DKM DKMY was any good. So I had a little look up comps and they were okay. I mean, this dress cost me £5, so I was going to pick it up because of how lovely it was. It's just this really nice black and white checked dress. I like it a lot. I do think DKNY, especially this label, I think it might be sold in TK Maxx. Correct me if I'm wrong, like, because I could be wrong. Um, but that doesn't detract from the fact that it is a really nice summery dress. Like, you look like a little picnic cloth, and I'm here for that. I like that. Um, so, yeah, it's £5, and hopefully I'll be able to get 25 ish Maybe a bit more. We'll see. Oh, this is a piece of hush, and I never find hush near me. Let me show you. The only problem with having these lights is it makes everything look wildly bright. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but it's really dark day today, so I kind of have to put the lights on. Or you would not be able to see me. Now this is just a basic... It's not the most exciting hush. It's just a basic drapey blue top. Probably won't get that much for it. Um, I don't know, maybe 20. But... I was way excited to find Hush just because it's, I just don't find it near me. Oh, this is adorable. And the temptation to keep this just because of how adorable it is. This is Lindy Bop. Oh, I thought it was new with tags, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's just a, just got this ribbon in it. Uh, Lindy Bop I'll pick up in a, a bigger size. It used to do really well, but it's definitely dropped in price a bit. Pick up in a bigger size and a nice print. And this is Donuts. This is donuts. I had to pick this up. Look at that print. I love it so much. It's in a size 16. So I think it might be just slightly big for me. I mean, I might be able to get away with it, but am I a donut kind? I mean, I'm a donut kind of girl. I really am a donut kind of girl, but I don't know whether I can pull off this cutesy little. So I think I might be listing that one. Um, I don't know how much I'll get for it, but I reckon 15 to 20 along those lines somewhere because of how pretty it is and it's a good size so you know what we're gonna say 20 we're gonna say 20 but if i'm really wrong well we all are sometimes aren't we this is this bowden no this is hobbs this is a really nice like career dress it's in like this deep burgundy purpley color like a red wine color i'd say red wine um it's just a nice smart career dress i'd say it's in a size 10 and I reckon I should probably get about 25 for that, I reckon. It's in a nice, it's in really nice print and a really nice colour. It's probably a bit more like autumnal with the leaves all over. Oh, it's not just leaves, there is flowers as well. But the colour is probably not very summery. But I reckon 25. We're not even halfway through this bag. I hope you did get a drink because I'm probably going to be here a while. I'm trying to go as quick as I can. Okay, this feels satiny. This is a, oh, it's Jane Norman. Jane Norman, like, oriental style dress. Oh, I love this. I do like this. This is pretty cool. Um, oh, look at it. I've not actually looked to see if all the sequins and beads are there. I don't know why that took so long for my brain to process that. Hopefully it's in lovely condition. It's been photographed and everything, so that doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> it's been checked. Uh, it's in a size 10. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, Jane Norman dresses are so all over the place, so I've got no idea on that. Um, some can go for like 40 to 50. Some can go for 20. So let's hope that goes for 40 to 50. But it's not a milkmaid one. The milkmaid ones go for a decent price. If you find milkmaid tops or dresses, then pick them up. Tea break. Okay, next up. This I think is Bowden. I think we bought two of these can't find the right there we go uh, they're silk blend silk blend just stripy t-shirts um i just thought they were decent for this time of year spring summer they're quite nice 
They remind me of deck chairs, not in a bad way. I think they're quite sweet. They're in a size 16, so a good size. And yeah, hopefully I'll get about 15 to 20 for them because they're silk blend. Where's the other one? I'll show you the other one at the same time if I can. Oh, here it is. Completely different colorway, which is nice. Look at that. So yeah, again, size 16, silk blend, 15 to 20. I will have put the price on the screen. A bit of cord, because I can't go sourcing without picking up cord. If I see it, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't know why, I'm just a bit of a cord addict. <laughs> this is a MS cord skirt. There's nothing that's very special about it. I just really liked the print, to be honest with you. I thought it was a pretty little print. Pretty little print. I thought it was a pretty print. <laughs> It's m and I've already said that. It's in a size 16. And it's just a nice A-line blue cord skirt. I just can't leave cord behind. I just love a bit of cord. I love it for myself as well, but I can never find any cord that fits me in my size because I am short. What have we got next? Honestly, I've not got a clue. Oh, it's a jumper, I think. Yeah, this is a religion jumper. My husband picked this up. He is an absolute, like, religion fan. I don't really know where I was going with that. He likes religion. Uh, this is, I think, women's. It's, yeah, extra small, size 8. So, I've really no idea whether this is going to be any good. It says rock and roll on it. And we thought it was quite cool. Um, we didn't look up comps because we're lazy. <laughs> we look up comps. Please don't take my advice. Because you're just wasting your own money. Um... And yeah, it's got this big zip on the like down the side. It is nice. I just have no idea how much it's going to go for. I'm hoping at least 15 because it's pretty cool. It only costs us... Oh, I don't know. It'll be on the screen how much it costs us. I'm not even going to bother guessing. I really need to pick up the pace because this IKEA bag is still half full and I've still got another bag after this. What's next? Oh, this is Frank Lyman. Just a drapey purple top Ugh. it's quite hard to show it there you go it's a cold shoulder top let me show you the label it's lyman by frank lyman please excuse the state of my nails they're really outgrown i was going to go and get them done today but i decided i wanted to do some work instead and when you actually feel like doing work you probably should because it doesn't happen very often uh, next is, oh I didn't say how much I plan to list that Frank Ryman for, um, we'll say 20 to 25, but that's an estimate. This is a warehouse dress, I picked this up because it is warehouse 100% silk, and it is very pretty, it is lovely, I think it still has its button bag as well, does it still have it, that sounded like it had its button bag, yeah it still has its button bag unwashed as well, like that's not creased or anything, um, and it is pretty, so hopefully at least like 18 to 20 for that because it is pure silk oh this was a nice find um i don't know whether it's like the label that you should be looking out for so to speak but it is a it is a good brand i just don't know how vintage it is this is probably the brand fool fool is a good brand to look out for i just need to research that label and figure out if that is the label to be looking out for this is not the fool that you want to look out for i mean it does, don't ignore it but it's not the good stuff the good stuff i'll leave a picture of the label on screen it is 70s and you want to be looking out for really like beautiful boho style dresses or quilted waistcoats um like long quilted waistcoats or quilted jackets um i ended up keeping this piece anyway because i made the mistake of trying it on so it's now in my wardrobe but yeah this label isn't necessarily an awful label but it's a bit more modern and it doesn't fetch as much money so look out for the label that i'll put on the screen because it is i believe a 70s label and it goes for a lot more like we're talking three figures some of them so definitely worth keeping your eyes peeled for it isn't like an amazing piece but it is a very wearable piece um i prefer like folders really gorgeous vibrant prints and patterns which are well gorgeous they're lovely um but this is a very wearable piece so some people that like fall but sometimes maybe don't really like how bright it is because some people aren't into wearing vibrant colors um 
so this is quite this is quite nice for that this is like a it's in a size 10 but it's very oversized and it's just like a throw over like a like a cover up i'd say um it doesn't have any buttons it's open front it's beautiful to be fair i really really like this and yeah i'm going to do some research on it because i'm not overly sure how much this will sell for it could be really good or it, oh, just found a stain so now it's not going to be as good but i will wash it and try and get it out hopefully you can see one of the polka dots there has got a little i think anyway i think it you tell me i'm pretty sure that polka dot above my thumb 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 not thumb is a, a different colour to the other one next to it. But I am legally blind, so to me, uh, I can't tell, but I think it's a stain. So that might impact selling it. This looks like a typical Bowden pattern, to be honest. It does, it does. And it is, it is. This is a Bowden in a size 10. I think we picked this up because it's quite cheap. It's just a jersey dress. Um, but it's quite a nice, floaty, really flowy jersey dress. So maybe about a 15 for that. What's next? It's a roll neck, whatever it is. It is a Karen Millen, size one. So relatively small size. I mean, you can see that it's small by looking at it. Um, it's just a roll neck jumper. I can't stop picking up knits and jumpers. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. I get, I'm just attracted to them. Um, it's quite nice actually. It's got lots of texture down the sleeves. And then on the back, it is like a, a blouse on the back. It's like a white blouse. But then the front is a grey jumper. I hope you can see that. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I can see it. Just not very well. Uh, that I'll probably list for 20 to 25. Next up is a bit of sea salt in a size 14. It's just a jersey skirt, but I'm pretty sure it was really cheap. It's not really going to go for very... Why did I look really yellow then? I think it's the colour of the... Look. I think it's the colour of the skirt. Um, It's not really going to go for that much, but I think it was uh, pretty cheap. I can't find the label. I was going to see what sea salt skirt it was but i can't find the label but because it's only a jersey one i reckon 15 is probably the most i'm gonna get for that this again it looks like bowden oh no it's hobbs i am wrong me getting all cocky uh this is a hobbs dress just a jersey blue and white perfect for spring summer it's like a is it a wrap or a faux wrap it is neither it's not even a tie back i just thought it was a wrap um maybe about 20 for that this is a ted baker jacket i don't pick up oh you can't see it i'll show you the back so you can see the print <laughs> i don't pick up a lot of ted baker anymore because it just doesn't go very well um you can see how long it is and it has about um it's a really nice print to be fair really like summery floral you still need jackets in the uk even if it is spring or summer don't you this is a size, my husband found this, and I wasn't sure on it, because I was like, mm, Ted Baker, I'm not sure anymore, but we went for it. It's in a size, come on, what size are you? Don't be shy. It's in a size three, so what's that, like a 12 to 14 Ted size, maybe? I have just noticed, though, which I didn't in the shop, now it's under the lights, one shoulder is a little more faded, than the other i don't know whether that's going to show up on camera um, this one's a bit more faded i'm guessing that's where they wore their shoulder bag so that is not great <laughs> but it is what it is um i don't know how much i'll get for that like maybe 30 but now i've seen that that um, maybe a little less next up is a new brand for me actually i've not found this brand before this is band of gypsies I am in love with this. Like, I absolutely love this. The temptation to keep it is pretty strong. I don't know, I might. What do you think? Is it me? Should I keep it? Let me know. Um, that is the tag. And I reckon, I mean, it says it's meant to be a dress. 
when I've seen it on comps. But I reckon, oh, look at it, isn't it beautiful? Oh, should I keep it? Or, I don't know. I, I might try it on and just see. Maybe I'll just see. But anyway, um, this is in a size large and I reckon I could probably get like 20 to 25 and I didn't pay very much for it. So I probably will list it, to be honest. I'm not sure how confident I'd be wearing something that bright. I just haven't got the confidence to pull it off. Uh, this is Bowden, just a typical little Bowden skirt. It's good for the summer, I guess. Uh, probably list it for about 15, nothing very interesting. This is very pretty. This is not really great for this time of year, but let's button this up. Uh, that is a St. Michael wool, like tartany skirt. I love it, it's beautiful in a size 14 so it'd probably be more of a modern day 10 maybe 12 at a push but looking at that that's probably a 10 but it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous probably list that for about 20 won't go yet because of the time of year we are already 25 minutes in and uh not even finished the ikea bag so i'll try and speed it up <laughs> this is hobbs and it is what, what's going on it's a belted skirt, there we go. Uh, I think this one's silk. It's like a ruffly, ruffly number with this blue like belt, tie belt, is it blue? Yeah, royal blue tie belt. <laughs> Sorry about this piece of hair. It keeps sticking to my, my lip gloss. But yeah, it's really loud and ruffly and silky, I think. Pretty sure, anyway. 100% silk, yep. Uh, so, I mean, it is an old Hobbs label, and oh, oh no. So, I've just found all these little pulls on the back of it. Can you see them? You probably can't see them, but there is lots of pulls on the back, so like it's ran. So, I was gonna say I'll probably list it for 25. Now, I will have to give it a thorough check, and I'm probably gonna list it for a lot less. It depends how many pools I find, how, how much I list it for. This is, oh, this is only super dry, but quite liked it. And it was only like two pound, I think. Um, it's just this like lacy t-shirt. I know it's how super dry, but my husband found it and he really liked it. And I thought, well, you know what? We'll, we'll give it a whirl and just see how it goes. So, it was really cheap. I'll probably put it up for like 14 maybe. Maybe less than that to be fair. But it could be a good vintage one. So if it goes for like a tenner on vintage, I'll be happy. Even eight pound, I'll be happy. Uh, this is white label, white company. This is just a typical white company. Drapey top. By the feel of it, it's got some linen in it. And I'll probably list that. If it is linen, I'll probably list it for around about 18 to 20. Have you got linen? It is 100% linen, so yeah, I'll probably list it for 20. That's really nice. What size is it? What size are you? I think it's a small size. It's a size 8, but it's really oversized. Like, that would probably be close to fit me. And I am not a size 8. I am nowhere near a size 8, in fact. Next up is... This is a long, tall Sally. It's just a long, tall Sally, like, long sleeve jersey top. It's got a cute little owl on the front. Oh, it's not quite long sleeve actually, it's three quarter sleeve. I thought it was long sleeve. I thought the owl was pretty though. Isn't that sweet? I thought it, oh, can you even see it? Is it even in frame? I thought it was sweet anyway. Uh, this is a size large and uh, maybe 15, maybe, but it might be, if it's not quite that, then it'll go on vintage. Oh, I was happy with this find, really happy with this find. Where are we? I've got to try and figure it out, hang on. Okay, I got it. <laughs> this is All Saints and it is really nice. Uh, these, it goes like this. So all the shoulders and like underarms, front and back, are like heavily embellished. It's really nice and it was only five pounds. So I was like, oh yeah. And I've checked all the, like properly checked in the shop. It, I've spent ages checking. <laughs> checked all the embellishments and they're, they're all there. And they're all fine. Um, it's a, I think it's a dress. 
like on me it's a dress but i'm only 5'2 so i can't be 100 percent sure and i was like i was happy with it for five pounds anyway just on how nice it was and then i saw that it was actually still new with tags so i'm even happier now um it's rare you find all saints new with tags it's in a size 12 and it was originally 158 pounds yes it is a dress it says on the tags it was a dress and i got it for a fiver so really happy with that hopefully that will at least be like 50 pound maybe but for five pounds i'd be uh, more than happy with that next up is oh korea concept i don't buy korea concept because i don't find it <laughs> honestly it's not that i don't pick it up it's that i don't find it i think i've never i've never sold korea concept i don't think i think i may have sold one damaged item um but i've never sold like never had a go at selling it properly shall we say um so i've got no idea how much it will go for i just know it's a good brand it's just a basic like drapey jumper top like it's proper lagen look let me show you the tag in case you are not familiar with it hopefully you can see that i will try and put it a bit closer but i don't know whether the light's going to wash it out um it feels like linen it's wool it's not linen it's 50 percent wool but hopefully i'm hoping about 20 pounds but i'm not 100 sure on the brand so i could be wrong okay next oh so happy to find this i really hope i don't find anything wrong with this but i did do a proper little happy dance when i found this because this brand is just nowhere to be seen in my area like nowhere to be seen and to be quite honest i barely find this brand anywhere and this is oscar and i was so pleased i was so pleased this is a gorgeous blue it's in that like col col is it cobalt or cobalt but it's in that blue basically that is really popular and it's this gorgeous linen top and it's a really nice size as well. What size are you? I know it's a nice size though. And no, it's a good one. It is in a size, are you gonna tell me? Two. So it's not even in an amazing size. <laughs> I thought it was in a better size than that, but it's really oversized and it is lovely. Like there is a few, it's a little faded in some places, but I think that actually works with Oscar's style. So, I am well happy with that. I've got no idea how much it'll go for, but I'm hoping at least £40. Um, yeah, because it is beautiful. And I'm just really excited about it, to be honest. Next up is Kettlewell, which I also don't ever find. Like, I don't, this was all from the same shop as well, to be fair. There's a new shop opened. It is a sense near me. And I'll tell you what, they've got some good stuff in. I don't know how long it'll last because obviously they probably gave it all the good stuff for opening. Uh, this is a Kettlewell, just a like cow neck, strappy top in a size small. There you go, Kettlewell. Um, now I know Kettlewell are proper funny about their colours. So I'm um, going to have to do some research on this to figure out what shade of green it is because lord knows what that is it'll probably be something like minty leaf green i don't know <laughs> uh this is white stuff oh this is quite pretty actually it's just a proper little summery summery blouse with is this embroidered yeah embroidery on the sleeves and the hem Again, into the 15, 18, I reckon. And it is in a size 12. That's quite nice. I quite like that. Okay, last... Oh, no, not the last one in this bag. There's two more in this bag. And then we'll move on to the last bag. This is very sequiny. What are you? Armani Exchange. I never pick up... I never pick up this brand, this AX Armani Exchange, because I don't know whether it does very well, to be honest with you. Um, this was more of an experiment because it was cheap and it was in a size large and it's full sequin on the front and then the uh, sleeves are like i don't know if you can see that but the sleeves are sheer i just thought it was a really nice interesting piece to be honest so i don't know maybe it'll go for 15 to 20 we'll see but i'm not very familiar with the brand i know the armani exchange is like the cheaper 
Armani, but I'm, I'm not very familiar with it, to be honest with you. And last thing in the IKEA bag, and we are half an hour in, so I'll be really quick with the other bag. <laughs> this is two at Sainsbury's, and it is just a sheer kitty blouse. And I had to pick it up. To, why can't? Why am I having so much trouble showing you this one? I had to pick it up because it had kitties on it. I just thought it was sweet. And it's a very understated for a pattern two blouse. It's a proper sheer little tie neck, little kitty blouse. And that is in a size 16. And it is sweet. And it won't get me very much, maybe £12. Maybe. Right. I'm going to put all this back in that bag and then move on to the next bag. And I will be very quick <laughs> at the next bag. Okay, I've been going that long that my tea's gone cold. Um, next bag is a lot smaller and I think it's mainly trousers. So we will just whiz through it because I know trousers just aren't quite as exciting. That's what I always find anyway. Uh, this is a, come on, where are you? It's manta ray, I know that much. It's a jumpsuit. Yeah, it's in a size 20 manta ray jumpsuit. It's going to be quite hard to show you on camera because obviously it's a jumpsuit, but it's nice. It's this blue, it's got like ruffled, it's sleeveless, well, like vest, short sleeve sleeveless. Um, it's got big ruffles and this does have a price tag on it still actually. So I don't know whether this bag has that, oh, this bag hasn't been photographed, so I'll be able to share the prices on these. This was 5 95 and hopefully that'll go for 20 This is a pair of long tall sally jeans and this was three pounds 95 for these um i don't know i've never sold long tall sally jeans i don't think but they're just a nice they're in a size 12 they're in a, like a nice stretchy skinny i know skinnies aren't technically in at the minute but i'm still wearing my skinnies and i'm sure lots of people still are um, but obviously they're a long leg being long tall sally and they were i already said but i forgot um 3.95 so if i can get what like 16 i'll be happy but we will see how much they go for. I think a lot of these are jeans, so I will whiz through them. Oh, this is an, another pair. Exactly the same. Long Tall Sally, size 16, 3 95 Just in a darker colourway. Exactly the same. Skinny. Just darker, again. Same price, I think I put them at four. What's up next? Jaeger. I don't even buy a whole lot of Jaeger anymore and I don't really know why I picked these up. But they were £3.50 so I'm guessing that's why. Just some smart Jaeger trousers with pockets. They've got like a texture to them but I don't know whether that's going to be coming up on camera. Hopefully it will but I know that it's going to be washed out a lot because of the lights. They are in a size 10. Like I said they were £3.50 so if I can get 15 18 I'll be happy. Oh, this is a snakeskin pair. I bet these are not your daughter's. They are. Not your daughter's jeans. Um, in a snakeskin. These will be quite popular, I reckon. Oh, they feel like a short leg, though. Maybe they're a crop. Or maybe they're just a short leg. I'm not sure. They're a skinny. They're in a size 10. So they're actually... Oh, UK 14. So really good size for not your daughter's jeans. Because they're usually in a size, like, 8. A UK 8. <laughs> Uh, they were three pounds so oh i'm happy with them i will look them up but i reckon they'll be quite popular because they're in a print but they're dark hopefully 20 at least they do sell quite well still for me not your daughter's jeans like i said this is a bag full of trousers that's they've just not been listed yet karen millen size 10 five pounds just some very creased because they're still in the bag um like camel colored cargo -y trousers so i'd say they're are they cargoes i mean they've got the pockets halfway down they're baggy i'm gonna say they're cargo style i'm gonna put cargo in the title because cargoes are all the rage at the minute i sounded quite old then didn't i all the rage i mean i'm getting there i don't know what oh i wanted to, i wanted to find out what the material content was but I can you see that? Mm. No, I'll be here far too long. Uh, but yeah, they were five pounds, and because they were the cargo style, you can't really see because they're so creased. But I reckon I can get like twenty-five. 
Karen doesn't sell overly well anymore, but it does still move as long as the piece is nice enough. More trousers. More long tall Sally trousers. £4.50. I reckon, yeah, these are the same. Are they the same size? Oh no, these are a 16. I was going to say they must be the same person, but these are a size 16. These are a nice summer trouser. They feel linen, but I could be wrong. Um, nice wide leg, but long tall Sally trousers. They go well for those tall, girl, tall girls. I is not a tall girl, so I don't struggle with uh, leg length. 36 inch leg. 36 inch leg. I mean, fair play. I'd love to have legs nice and long. I'm five foot two. And my legs are probably about three inches long. I'm not even going to lie. They're linen blend. But as a tall girl, as a small girl, sorry, I've always dreamed of being tall. I'd love to be nice. I'd love to be tall. I'd love to be needing long, tall Sally clothes. But uh, hopefully they'll sell quite well. This is vibrant. What is this? This is like Cadbury Purple. It is a Karen. It is a Karen Millen. Um, what are you though? A dress. So it's not all trousers in here. Karen Millen dress. Uh, I'm, I'm having trouble. Oh, that ties it. There we go. Um, there we go. Uh, it's silk. That's why I picked this one up because I don't think it was the cheapest. But like I say, everything will be on the screen. It's a nice... It's got lace on the front. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully I'm showing it off okay. Um, yeah, this is quite nice. Lovely like gothic vibes to it without it being all black. But I do like it. Yes, it was silk. It definitely feels like it. And I can remember spending ages trying to find the label and read the label in the shop. Oh, this is Hobbs. We didn't know how much this was and we took it to the till and thinking that she'd say quite a lot because it is pure wool and she said £2 and we were like, hey, yeah. We had bought loads from the shop though. It's just a nice career skirt. It's a wool skirt, it's a size 8 and it is old label hobs, but I just really like the print on it. So we went for it, hopefully £20, but maybe not. Oh, I love these. Look at these. These are so cute. These are Bowden, they're in a size 8 and I wish they were my size. They were only £3 though. Look how sweet these little shorts are. They're just adorable. Hopefully there'll be 15. Is this the last item? No, there's this and then one more. Uh, these are a pair of pyjamas. Um, I've never picked up second-hand pyjamas in my life, to be honest with you. But I saw them, I researched them, and they seemed okay. These are called Cyber Jammies. I'm just going to show you the top, because it'll be easier for you to see. Um, they were £5 for the pair. They've got cute little... They're short short sleeve but long bottoms they are a size 14 yeah and they've got like cute little floral rainbows on them and i looked it up and they looked okay like i think about 20 for second hand pajamas about 15 to 20 but the thing is i picked them up more for if they don't sell they are my size and i like pajamas um but it was more for the let's give it a go because i always ignore the pajama section so I'm gonna give that a try. I did pick up another pair of pajamas, but I haven't got a clue where they where they've gone. I picked them up the same day that I saw these, but for some reason they're not in mine. Uh, and last item is more Zara. These are a pair of Zara shorts, three pounds twenty five, and they are just quite cute to be honest. They're in a good size for Zara anyway. They're in a size XL. And they're just a nice, like, checked print. Why can't I hold them? So a nice, smart short, but they can definitely be dressed down as well. That would look really cute with the... It would probably look quite nice with this t-shirt, actually. Don't keep the shorts, Chloe. You're not going to wear them. But maybe I will. 325 anyway. I reckon I can maybe get 15 for them. But they can go on Vinted if they don't do so well on eBay. So there we have it. That is everything that I bought. Well, I don't even know when I bought it. But there is a big clothing haul for you. Because I did promise one in my last video. I promised that my next video was going to be a clothing haul. So here we go. Um, I am sorry it's been so long since I posted a clothing haul. We just have got so much backlog of stock. 
and I've not really been filming or doing eBay that much lately because I've been focusing on my Etsy shop. If you haven't watched my last video, I have opened an Etsy shop for jewellery. Um, I've been making my own jewellery. This is one of them, but this one is mine to keep. Um, so I opened an Etsy shop for it and it's been going quite well actually. There's a, I've got a lot to learn <laughs> with Etsy. It is not eBay. Um, but that's good because it gives me something to focus on and I've really been enjoying making the jewellery. I've also done these little earrings. I don't know how well you'll be able to see them. But I am using crystals. So like these are little crystal beads. These are, I think, picture jasper. But they're very pretty. Um, and this is Labradorite. They're very flashy and beautiful. But yeah, so that is my newest venture. So that's why I haven't been around. But I'll promise that I will start picking up the pace again with my videos because... I have kind of dropped a bit so if you do want to go and check out my Etsy shop I would be really grateful even just for a look because the more views the better on Etsy I believe that's how it works um I think that'll boost my shop up a little bit I will leave it linked in the description and I'll be grateful for you just checking it out and having a look and give me any advice if you are an Etsy seller like please take a look and tell me if there's anything else I need to do to improve my shop I do need to do some branding I haven't branded yet that's something for me to do this week Oh, a dog has, oh, two dogs have just appeared. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.